one problem that people face when they're getting into producing their own videos is the equipment overwhelm. The gear, the camera, the software, everything. At the end of this video, you're gonna know how to make a video from scratch using Camtasia. I'm gonna make this easy enough that my mom could do it. What's up, I'm Steve, giving you virtual assistance absolutely free. If you need a little bit more hand-holding, go ahead and click the link in the description. We'll schedule your free 30-minute call. We'll talk about what your goals are and how I can help you get there. If you found this video with the YouTube search, you're probably familiar with Camtasia, so I would recommend skipping to this part in the video. If you're not familiar with Camtasia, you might be asking yourself, why would I use it? Well, if you run a business, you can use Camtasia to create content videos to market your business. Camtasia is also a great tool for recording presentation videos. It integrates very nicely with PowerPoint. You can make digital products that you can sell online. Or you can create a demo of your product, and this is good for people who sell software as a service. Not only that, but it's a cheap alternative to the options that are available. Camtasia is much cheaper than even Final Cut Pro's one-time price of $2.99, and it's definitely much cheaper than Adobe Premiere's month-to-month -month subscription. I put a link in the description if you want to go ahead and download the latest version of Camtasia, Camtasia 2019. We'll note that if you do click it, it is an affiliate link and I will get some kickback. I appreciate your support. If you want to learn how to make advanced tutorial videos without shrinking the size of your wallet, by the end of this video, you're going to learn how to do that using Camtasia Studio. Let's get into it. Now, this tutorial assumes you have Camtasia downloaded, installed, and you're ready to go. Before you begin any Camtasia project, go ahead and do this. Go to File, Project Settings, and make sure you have your canvas dimensions set to 1080p. This will make sure that your video is high definition when you export. Click Apply. Next, click the Record button in the upper left corner. This opens the Camtasia recording feature. For Select Area, click on Full Screen, then click the Record button. Camtasia is going to start counting down from 3. Once finished, everything that shows up on your computer screen will be recorded. I want you to watch what I'm doing on the screen right now. I'm simply walking through the steps it takes to complete a tutorial that I have scripted in front of me. My tutorial is for teaching people how to update their YouTube channel art. I won't record my voiceover while I'm recording these steps, though you certainly can if that's what you prefer, this is just the way I'm going to do this tutorial. I'll show you how to add your voiceover in an upcoming step. Once you're done recording, Hit the F10 key on your keyboard. This will stop the recorder and Camtasia should pop back up on your screen. Alright, now here's where the editing begins. You're doing a great job, so stick with me. First thing I want to do is add a title to the intro of my video. So I'll drag over this recorded video in my timeline, and in the annotations menu, I'm going to drag down this text callout onto my timeline. I'll double click the text on the stage and then enter in my new text. Next, I'll select all the text and change the size with the slider on the right-hand side. Now I'll add a fade in and fade out to my intro text. In the transitions menu on the left, I'll drag the fade transition down onto my text in the timeline. This adds the fade in and fade out to the text. I'll repeat this process for my recorded video clip. Next, I'm going to trim my recorded video clip to get rid of the leader and the tail on the clip. I'm going to drag my playhead to where I want the tutorial video to start, select my clip, then hover over the front. When I see the double arrows, I'm going to click and hold and drag this over to my playhead. This gives my video a nice, clean start. I'll repeat the process for the end of my clip. Drag the playhead to where I want the video to end, hover over the end of the clip, then click and drag back to the playhead. The clip is now trimmed, I'll drag this over to the left so it's butt up against my intro title. Next step is to add a cursor highlight. Under cursor effects, I'll drag the cursor highlight effect onto my clip. As a personal preference, I like to update the opacity of the highlight to 25% so it's still visible but it's not too obvious. If you're following along, stay with me, you're doing great. Now I'm going to strategically add in the zoom effect to certain parts of the video. I'm going to take the playhead and scrub through the video until I get to a part where the zoom in effect would be beneficial to the viewer. The first zoom I want to use is when the cursor hovers over the camera button. I'll leave my playhead where I want the effect to end, click on the animations menu, 
and resize the bounding box so we're more focused on where the cursor is in the tutorial. I'm simply going to repeat this process for the important parts of the tutorial. When the image upload pop-up appears on the screen, I'll move and resize the bounding box to focus on the pop-up. You want to make sure you're also previewing your changes as you go so it looks just as you want it to look. When the next pop-up appears, I'll repeat the process. I'll move the bounding box to the upper left corner. Continue scrubbing. Adjust once more. Keep scrubbing. Now I want to zoom all the way out when I've reached the end of the tutorial. In the zoom and pan box, I'll click the scale to fit button and as you can see, the scale zooms back to 100%. I'll scrub through to the end, make sure I didn't miss anything. Cover art updates looks good. Last two steps, before we export, let's add a voiceover. I'll click the voice narration button on the left hand side, then take our playhead and move it to the beginning of the video. I'll click start voice recording. Now anything I say here is going to be recorded. I'll click the stop button, click save in the pop-up, and our voiceover is automatically added to the timeline. Alright, now here's our last step. Let's export our video. Click the share button at the top of the screen, then click local file. We'll choose custom production settings in the drop down menu, click next, select mp4, click next. On the controller tab, uncheck the produce with controller option. Select the size tab, make sure the size is set to 1920 by 1080, and we don't need to actually update anything on the video tab or on the audio tab. Click next, click next one more time, enter the name of your video file. Click the folder icon if you want to select a different save location. When I click the finish button, Camtasia will export my video file. Once that's finished, I'll navigate to where the video file lives, then double click to preview the file. Now, if you want to continue making more content, check out the video on the screen right now. By doing so, you're going to help me make enough ad revenue to move me out of my parents' basement. No, seriously, it's going to help. Thanks.